Good evening. Thank you for joining us. Wildfires are raging across the country and Quebec appears to be seeing the worst of it. More than 150 fires are burning in the province, many out of control. And Angela, mandatory evacuation order was issued tonight in Chibougamou. That's right, Maya. The city has declared a state of emergency, and with that, more than 7,000 residents have been ordered to leave their homes. In a Facebook post, the city says the SQ will patrol to secure the perimeter and Highway 167. For those who don't have vehicles, buses have been chartered, leaving from the local arena. The mayor told our colleagues at Nouveau Info she and her CEO will stay until the end to manage the evacuation like the captains of a ship. Now, around 45 minutes from there, the Cree village Ujibugamu is also under evacuation orders. Meanwhile, Quebec has called in reinforcements. 260 firefighters will be arriving in the coming days, some from New Brunswick and abroad. Now, so far, the wildfires have ravaged more than 245,000 hectares of land in Quebec, nearly five times the size of Montreal. The extreme fire zone in Abitibi is an area of particular concern. There's no rain in the forecast. Some areas haven't seen a drop in weeks. Our colleague Genevieve Beauchemin in Val d'Or, who is in Val d'Or rather, where the winds have been picking up. As we can see, it's very windy here uh, in Val d'Ora in the western portion of the province. We're going to experience winds from the north, northwest, uh, sustained winds, uh, which can be good and bad. Uh, it's good for smoke cover where we, it's not smoky here and we can use our aircraft, so we have much more visibility uh, in many areas. However, the wind is a bad thing for progression on fires. The Cree Nation in northern Quebec is also on high alert. Its boundaries spread over 300,000 square kilometres. A number of its communities are at high risk of fires spreading nearby, including the village of Tasibi. People are being told to stay out of forests. Grand Chief Mandy Golmasti says they have their own fire teams coordinating with SUPFU and says clear communication with the public is crucial right now. This has been the worst fire season that I've seen so far. And sadly, you know, it has just started. For us, when there is fire, the biggest, biggest, um, you know, operation thing that we face is really evacuation. Getting communities seven or eight hours away to the point of evacuation is extremely challenging for us. Meantime, in Setil on the North Shore, rain has helped. Friday's evacuation order has been lifted, which means 5,000 people can finally go home. Maya? Okay, thank you for those updates, Angela. Premier Francois Legault is warning that there will likely be more fires in Quebec this summer. Olivia O'Malley has more. Et je pense qu'on est aussi tous et toutes inquiets de ce qui s'en vient pour le reste de l'été et pour les prochaines années. Members of the National Assembly say they are worried by the rate Quebec's forests are burning, fearing that this is just the start for years to come. Quebec Solidaire spokesperson Manon Massé says with climate change, there will be more fires and more people forced from their homes. She's calling on the government to better prepare for that future. We need money. Stop firm need money you know, to act when it's happened, but we need money to prevent that. There are more than 160 wildfires burning across the province. Quebec's forest fire watch, Sopfu, only has the resources to fight around 30 of those fires. Forest Minister Maite Blanchette Vezina refused to answer whether she thinks Sopfu's budget should be increased. We are going to take action what, when it's going to be better. The situation will be better. Instead, she says the government's priority is to extinguish the raging fires with more than 100 burning out of control. Unfortunately, this is a new reality. Quebec Liberal leader Marc Tanguay acknowledges the current crisis is the priority but says discussions must be had in the not-too-distant future. We need to adapt our strategy to have the, the proper equipment to have, uh, in, uh, uh, I think, more workers uh, on the field. And also, how can we have a, uh, an open discussion with the uh, government of Canada, the federal level, to see if we can help each other in, in time of need. According to Premier Francois Legault, the government is going to start having to ask itself questions like those in order to protect municipalities. Oui, uh, on peut dire que les changements uh, climatiques... He says yes, climate change means we have to invest and adapt. So these are things his government is thinking about. 
and they will be things they continue to think about all summer long as wildfire season has only just started. Olivia O'Malley, CTV News, Quebec City. The wildfires are affecting air quality. Here in Montreal, the city is under a sm smog warning. Public health officials say the smog could cause coughing, itchy eyes, or sore throat. But they say people with asthma or lung problems could have trouble breathing and chest pain. They're advising people to stay indoors as much as possible and keep their doors and windows closed. Well, we've got a ridge across western Canada and a trough in the east. There's a low pressure system that's sitting out over the Atlantic. And so we're going to see clouds and wet weather from that system back in on us in the coming days. We'll see on and off showers across southwestern Quebec. Tonight we're forecasting a low of 12 degrees in Montreal, which is near normal. But the mercury is not expected to climb all that much through the day tomorrow. Could hit a high of 14, possibly 15 degrees. And again, we will see on and off wet weather through the day on Wednesday. Showers expected to linger into Thursday as well, and we could even see showers to round out the week on Friday. There will be a slight improvement rather in terms of air quality coming up for tomorrow. I'll have those details coming up a little later.